Yep, I'm recording another one. Cause why not? Uh, nighttime is beginning. I just refreshed my stuff. Oh, wood, duh. Can't find my wood chest. I'm gonna crank up my uh, frame rate. See what happens. Let's really push it. See what we get. Man, what is with me? Ah, uh, it's late, guys. Uh, I'm not the most coordinated right now. This is what I usually play on when I'm playing no video and everything. 90 frames. Uh, let's see how much dipping we get and stuttering. But, uh, I don't need saplings right now. I was telling you guys last episode about my World of Warcraft career. You guys know about that now and all. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Call of Duty series. Love me some Call of Duty. Although I haven't really actually played anything hardcore since Modern Warfare 2. Uh, sadly, that's another one of those actually life situations. Uh, I actually spent a whole year actually without any internet uh, due to uh, my life situation. Uh, yeah, I got forced out to uh, do any online gaming and all, because uh, I had real life going on. Uh, yeah, over, basically over the past five years, I I have been restructuring my life and all, changing everything around pretty much. It's not been a fun process. It's not, a, and I know it wasn't a process. I went through by choice. It's not like I suddenly figured out what I wanted to do or anything like that. I still don't know who I, who I am and what I want to do with my life. I'm still working on those things. Uh, in the meantime, I'm trying to have as much fun as possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, don't knock it. Uh, I I don't mean by that I go and party a lot or anything. I just mean like I. I try to find the things that I like to do in life and do them. Uh, I, you know, of course I work for a living too. Uh, you know, uh, I work a lot actually. I work a lot, a lot. Like, uh, at least 48 hours a week. Uh, I usually tend to bring in, yeah, I usually tend to do about 48 hours a week, unfortunately. I'd love to scale that back, but it, it's not been an option. Uh, been needing to do that just uh Well, I'm starting to talk about stuff that will bring you down. Let's just let's knock that off, but uh I'll tell ya. But uh Crap, that's just completely derailed my train of thought. Oh, video games. Talk about video games. Uh, I'd also like to hear from anybody who may have been watching what they might like me to stream. You know, I've been thinking about... I mean, you know, watching a lot, I watch a lot of YouTube, as you guys may know. Like, just what led to me deciding I should maybe even record some YouTube videos. Uh, but since I watch a lot of YouTube, I've been seeing a lot of commercials lately for... Uh, well, one thing I'd love to play, but can't. Titanfall. I do own a 360, and I do hear that it is coming to the 360, but I have a feeling that the uh, Xbox One is where it's at. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be acquiring an Xbox One anytime in the uh, the uh, near future. Oh, gosh, I wish I was, though. Man, that Titanfall looks sweet. Uh, but then again, I haven't actually seen any gameplay. It's been just all those hype videos, but... It's been so long since I played anything crazy wild like that. That those hype videos are enough to <laughs> get me pumped. I haven't seen a lot of hype videos for anything in the in recent times, so I've been all about it. Man, look at this void fog. I love it. I don't know why, but I actually I spend so much time in the void fog that it actually feels like home. <laughs> It's like, oh, the void fog. This is what things should look like. I should never be able to see more than 20 feet. But, uh, 
Yeah. Uh, for those of you new to Minecraft, Void Fog is what you get down at this level of the world. It's because below the bedrock here exists a place called the Void. It's an infinite nothingness. And if you could somehow manage to break this bedrock away, you would fall into it and fall out of the world and cease to exist. And these particles and this darkness are a side effect of being close to that. Uh, that's how you know you've reached the bottom of the world. You see these little gray particles floating in the air here. And you see that darkness. That creeping darkness. Uh, and don't, by the way, don't worry about that darkness causing the mobs to spawn. It's not real darkness. As you can see, I'm, I got the place pretty well lit with torches. Uh, it, it just... The void fog causes the illusion that there is no light beyond a certain point. These tunnels could stretch forever with torches lining them, but I'd only be able to see 20 blocks down them, despite the fact that they're well lit with torches. Because of void fog. You can actually eliminate void fog, I believe. I, I believe I've seen people do it. If you open this up, dig all the way back up to the sky, uh, the, the opening to the sky will and the light, sunlight and stuff shining down in actually causes void fog to disappear. At least, that, at least that's what I believe people have done. I, I've never actually tested that myself. I've never dug all the way to the, from uh, bedrock to the surface of a world before. Ooh, more iron. And see, I am just rolling in it now. See, where was this stuff like four episodes ago where was it <laughs> i guess right here on this rock and i just didn't know it <laughs> you know, i dug around forever looking for iron cursing the day i was born well not the day i was born the day i loaded up this map and started recording these vid this video series that's what i was cursing oh man that's craziness look at that Ooh, redstone up there I tell you what, I'm kind of surprised I haven't run into any caverns down here. It's just been straight up strip mining, which is actually a good thing. That's what you want out of your strip mine, is you want straight up strip mining with nothing getting in your way. Like, uh, you just want pure resource collection. That's what you want. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm just going to shut up, actually, for a little while. I think I just keep recording and I'll uh, just let you guys see what I do. guys what I was just talking about underground caverns that is clearly a nearby zombies he is like right in this area I think we found the branch of our uh, little uh, strip mine that's going to collide with a natural cavern which, that's not exactly a problem. I'm not. Eh, as I said, you want, strip mine, you generally want to uh, have a nice, safe, like, strip mine where you can just mine away, collect resources. But if you come across an underground cavern, you can just, uh, what I do is I, I go back here to the opening. And next here to that workbench. I would lay down a chest and I'd load all my goodies into the chest you know anything of real value and then I'd go dig into that uh, underground cavern just go in there see what you can't find and uh, fight fight the mobs collect the resources you know do the whole hoo-ha 
Ooh. Zombies and skeletons, oh my. But yeah, that's what I... What I'll do, man. Like, uh, if we meet up with one, as a matter of fact. I'm going to be very tempted just to, like, go right in there. Ooh, there must be water nearby, too. They're, they're swimming in something. Yeah, it's, like, right in this area. They're walking on dirt. Splashing around in water. Ooh, there's the cave sound, as a matter of fact. Boy, it sounds like all sorts of craziness right here. Gravel. Oh, ow, gravel. <laughs> I should have known that was coming. Ah, oh, jeez. Let me out. I have a feeling we just lowered. Ooh. Yeah, collect that plant. We're going to need that plant. Yeah, guys. Look at that. That probably opens up into this place we're hearing all this noise from. We need to watch our head here. See, we gotta watch our heads. <laughs> well, that's one less zombie to worry about. Oh my god. See, that's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what you gotta watch out for. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, crap. He's shooting. He can see me. Hey, bub. Give me your goods. Oh, man. That was actually... I got the heart pumping. I guess there weren't any resources in those walls. <laughs> Okay, so we need to find a way to build ourselves a way up. Yeah. Because that's an upward path right there. Oh. Well. I'm not ready for that right now. Wait until I get fully kitted out in iron. Once I'm fully kitted out in iron, we are going up there and we are going to bring it with those guys. As well as, of course, you know, we'll be hitting the surface caves and everything. Because, uh, basically, what I'm going to need to do for my little mob spawner project is I'm going to need to have every cave for miles around here. Assuming I, I decide that this is actually the place I'm going to uh, build. Uh, build up. I'm going to need every, basically, for the place I choose for it I will have to have uh, miles and miles of a uh, cave just lit up so that the spawner will function properly uh, cause the more basically the more ground you have lit up the less space mobs have to spawn in uh, that is not inside your uh, facility You want to have a. Uh, you want to have your facility be the best place in the world for the mobs to spawn, and that way they tend to spawn in there by the dozens. Man, I just could not believe that. That, that was a little crazy. I was kind of hoping I would get to kill that zombie though. Darn creeper beat me to it. I was wanting to kill him and get it. Get that helmet maybe. I mean it, that. I have no helmet right now. It would have been a nice boon to just get one for free. 
I mean, it was crappy gold and would break in a short period of time, but it was something. You know, I just thought of something. Man, I just keep hearing noise all down through here. Uh, that hole is not baby zombie proof. And actually, a baby zombie right now would probably wreck my day. So, I better plug that. Like that. That's a good plug. Hey, Mr. Skeleton. You poked your head in the wrong hole, didn't you? Man, it's just a whole mess up there. It's gonna be scary dangerous when we go in there. See, this right here is a preview of the mob spawner. <laughs> oh boy, it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be all kinds of crazy. You guys, man, it's going to be wild. You guys are going to be in for a show that day. We got some lapis lazuli. Stuff's you. Decorative. Purely decorative. Makes nothing of any use or value. Oh, man, that was actually... Man, that's got me pumped. Thinking about man, I'm gonna find that hole, I'm gonna climb in there, I'm just gonna tear it up, just kill everything. I'm ready for some revenge. This world has been the 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 hostels of this world have done nothing but put me down, wreck my day for a long time now. It is time for some sweet sweet revenge. My 11 blocks of iron. Build another piece of kit. It's daytime again. I bet the sun's setting. Wow, I have a great talent. <laughs> I can appear at the surface of the world just in time to see the sunset every day. That's ridiculous. Okay, I need a helmet and some boots. And I'd like to find some diamonds, please. That's on my new wish list. That's the new wish list. We, we're getting iron now. And uh, we're getting iron built up. Oh, I found an arrow down there. But uh, now that we're getting the iron, it's time to start getting the diamond. Put our lapis in here. I, I guess it's a rare material. <laughs> Not as useful as any other, but I guess. Oops, that's one more than I need. Oh, I actually count flint as a rare material because when you have a chicken farm and uh, plenty of feathers, flint becomes the nice commodity because... That's what you'll need for your arrows. Here's all let's make boots first. We'll go boots first. Whoops! Just threw my iron all over the place. I actually make those boots. I didn't actually even make those boots. Oop. Hmm. 
looking fantastic now. Uh, this this skin needs some work. It seems very strange, like weird. It's too blocky and everything. I need some uh, features. I need a new skin. I'm gonna have to work on that. Hopefully another Fallout guy. I like the Fallout guy. As I said before, I think he's perfect. Uh, there he goes there. Oh yes, the water did a worked wonders for our wheat. Look at this. That is so much faster. Oh, the half slab thing. I forgot all about it. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, keep in mind, guys. I'm not going for looks in this place. This not. This is my utilitarian base. Uh, my first base is always just for performance. And not even the best of that, just like whatever I can throw together quickly and that is just efficient. That's what I'm doing. Oh. Darn it. Get back here. Where'd that go? Dang it, went way up under there. See, there we go. Now I don't have to worry about falling in the water or losing any of the weed in there. Oh, we gotta go up a block too. Give me some room to move over to that side. I think that's good enough. Oops. That one wasn't quite grown. Oh well. Oh yeah, let's take all that out. Right there. It's in the way. Oops. Oh well. That works. But I have a plan too for this little valley here. I've decided what to do with it. I'll. Well, my timer just went off actually. So I'll just tell you guys about that next episode. Alright?